Is there anything better than a ribeye steak? How about a ribeye steak stuffed with crab? That's right, ribeye stuffed with crab. It's sort of a lemon crab stuffing we're gonna be making with a couple other ingredients. So let's get started on that stuffing right away. So we have three tablespoons of mayonnaise here and to that we're gonna add the zest and juice of half a lemon. Just gonna pour it right in and mix it up. Just gonna mix this up. Doesn't have to be super blended. It's gonna be going in with the crab in just a minute. And we'll add it by the spoonful too, just to make sure we don't add too much. Now let's get our crab in here. So in our bowl, we're just gonna add our crab. That is a can of lump crab meat. You can use whatever kind you like, but I like using lump crab meat. If you have fresh crab meat, even better. To this, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of chopped cilantro a half teaspoon each of pepper and salt. And we're gonna use two tablespoons of very dry breadcrumbs. And now we're gonna start adding our lemon mayonnaise mixture. I'm gonna add like three heaping tablespoons of it first and mix it up and see if we need to add more. There's our crab mixture. I'm not gonna add any more of the lemon mayonnaise. I think this is about the perfect consistency. Almost the kind of what you would use for crab cakes without as many breadcrumbs. So this is just about perfect. Now we gotta get our steaks ready. So here I've got a boneless ribeye. I've got two of them. I'm gonna be demonstrating on this one and then I'll do the other one just before we get it on the grill. What we're gonna do in this is we're gonna cut a pocket in the side, not all the way through, if you accidentally do, it's not going to be that big a deal. Most of the crab stuffing will stay in. It's pretty thick. So let's get a cut going in here. Now, one of the ways you can do this without going all the way through is use your finger as a guide on the knife. So if you lay your knife across the steak, if you keep your finger on the back side of the blade, the non-sharp side, this will give you that sort of guide of how deep to go. And this is about as deep as I want to go here. I'm not going to cut from end to end, I'm cutting in the middle here. So let's do this. And your knife should be pretty sharp. Makes it a lot easier. And that's what we're going for, if you can see. That size pocket. That'll be plenty to hold our crab mixture divided between the two steaks. So let's get these stuffed. So we're going to stuff this ribeye now with our crab stuffing. And see, you want to get a good amount in there, push it all the way back, but make sure you only use about half of your mixture. You have another steak to go still. This is just about how we want it. Now let's get that other steak ready and get them out on the grill. Yes, I am going to be doing the crab stuffed ribeye on my Weber kettle here in just a second. But first, I have to make something that's going to go on top of it when it's done, a bacon butter with a little bit of lemon zest in it. Let's get started. So the coals are still coming up to where they should be for the steak, and this is the perfect time to do this bacon butter. I'm gonna put our cast iron pan on, get our bacon in. That'll start cooking really quickly. This cast iron heats up over charcoal quick and holds its heat. If you haven't guessed, I love cast iron. <laughs> We've used it a lot. Our bacon is looking good. And we're going to add our butter and then move it quickly off this because it'll continue to cook in here. Just going to give that a quick stir to start melting. And we're going to get this off here. It is steak time and I'm going to add just a few hickory chips because I want to get a little bit of hickory smoke flavor coming up from these coals. We are carefully going to place our steaks. These are going to go for about five or six minutes on each side. That should get us somewhere around medium, medium rare. When we turn these, we're going to do it carefully. 
I'm going to put the cover on now for a couple minutes, get that fire to go down, take it off when we're ready to flip. Even from those few little chips, I can smell hickory smoke here. Love hickory. All right, let's get our lid off and turn these steaks. You may lose a little bit of stuffing, but that's all right. Ooh, look at that. Now we gotta get our lid back on so that fire goes down. All right, let's get this lid off here. Oh, those look good. All right, let's get our steaks off of here. They are done. There is our crab stuffed ribeye, and now I need to put that bacon butter on it. It's called bacon butter because it has butter with the bacon, but really it's a bunch of bacon with butter. A little bit of lemon zest, so really it's just a lot of bacon with butter. I'm going to make a mess of my cutting board, but honestly, I don't really care right now. Ooh. Drizzle some of that. Oh, look at that. A little bit more. Oh, that smells so good. I definitely think it's time to taste this. I'm going to have to turn it to cut. So I want to get some of that crab here. Ooh, got some crab, some crab, some steak. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Medium rare. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. This is pretty darn good steak. And the crab's not bad either in there. There we go, some more. Mm. Okay, a little bit of bacon on there too. This may be my new favorite steak. Mm. This is just so good. Oh, look at that. Rare, medium rare. Mm. That combination of that crab stuffing and that bacon butter. Oh, mm. just FYI, I'm making my wife wait while I keep eating this. She's supposed to be having her steak right now. It's kind of an early Mother's Day dinner. Oh, one more taste. Mm. You can do steak a lot of different ways. And you can stuff it different ways. You don't have to use crab stuffing. You can make a wild rice stuffing or any kind of stuffing you want. But when you stuff it and you get those extra flavors inside, especially over charcoal, it is a killer dish. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day. We're gonna eat some steak. I'll see you again soon.